I don't want you to be sad. I don't want you to be disheartened. I don't want you to not continue. If you see it in the very beginning, oh, I had 50 downloads and then I had 75 downloads and now I only have 45 downloads. What's going on? You, really what you're doing is you're weeding out the people who should never have been there to begin with. Podcast Growth Nation, welcome back to another very special episode of Podcast Growth University. I hope you enjoyed the latest episode, episode number 12, the three buckets of podcast listeners. Today, for episode number 13, we are talking about the fact that people are often very supportive in the beginning. So what can you understand in the beginning? What is the normal expectation and flow of things and what happens if you get a lot of support out of the gate but that support kind of peters off as you continue the journey so i have said this to many people we had a client who was not somebody who was into self-improvement and personal development this was somebody who was new to it and this person came to me and said hey i want to start a podcast and i said all right cool i'll help you do all that but i want you to understand that something very unique is going to happen. You are kind of changing your identity. And this is what I mean by that. Everybody who follows you on social media, everybody who knows you personally, all your friends, all your family, all your coworkers, they know you as this one type of human being. When you start talking about something else and you start promoting something else on your social media platforms, people are going to treat you a little bit differently. And I said, but this is what's most likely going to happen. In the very beginning, people are going to say, oh, wow, this person's a podcaster. Oh, they're talking about this cool stuff. Oh, they're making me think. I never really thought that way. And I said, I want you to understand, in the very beginning, you will probably get a lot of people that are supporting you, especially the people close to you. And I said, but eventually, that will no longer be quote unquote cool, because that new identity that you've adopted isn't necessarily the identity that they want you to have. It's not the identity that they were friends with. And maybe they don't understand why you're doing what you're doing. So today will be a short episode, but I really want to drive that point home. Many of us, and I've seen this pretty often, and I could, I can look at the, the charts and the graphs of people for listens of, uh, of people who just started shows. I can literally look at the chart with a number of downloads and see that maybe in the first month or two, it's high and then it starts to, to tail off. And this is the point that I made in last episode. When we're talking about the three buckets of podcast listeners, that is when you want to make sure you're bringing people into the podcast and keeping them warm. So if somebody shares the podcast, you got to send them a message and you got to keep them in your environment. You got to keep them in your podcast business. In the beginning, that's when you do get a lot of love. Usually the first episode is the one that gets the most downloads because people go back and, and listen to that. But it's usually the first month or two is an upward trend. And then towards month three, or maybe even like halfway through the second month, things start to even out and then go down because it's no longer a novel thing. It's not the cool new thing. For some people, it might be old. Now, here's the interesting thing. And really think about this and ask yourself this question. Should my friends, should my family, should my coworkers, should the people that follow me on social media actually be listening to my show? This is the interesting thing where a lot of the people that are listening in the very beginning, they're not your ideal listener avatar. And go back to episode number, I think it was the first episode I did. Hold on. Mm, no, it was episode three. So go back and listen to episode number three, where I talked all about understanding your ideal listener. If you know to your, if you know this, if you can think to yourself and say, okay, my ideal listener is somebody who is an entrepreneur who is already successful, but they want to have a more healthy, long lasting, deeper version of love. They want better relationships. That might not be most of the people that are listening in the beginning, right? It's one of those things where if you have a new TV show and everybody's talking about it, there's going to be a lot of people that watch that. But, you know, not everybody that watches the first episode is going to finish the entire thing. And that's really an important understanding that in a weird way, the very beginning of your podcast, when you first launch it, 
unless you have a really good launch strategy and you have a bunch of content and you're going on other shows and you're doing all the right things, more likely than not, the people that are going to be listening to your show are just the people that you know. And it'll be friends and it'll be family and it'll be coworkers and stuff like that. Those aren't necessarily the people that should be listening. So my, my goal and my idea during this episode is I don't want you to get, I don't want you to be sad. I don't want you to be disheartened. I don't want you to not continue. If you see it in the very beginning, oh, I had 50 downloads and then I had 75 downloads and now I only have 45 downloads. What's going on? You, really what you're doing is you're weeding out the people who should never have been there to begin with. So I really want you to think of that. Remember, when we're talking about growth, it's not going to be linear. You're not going to have, just say you have 100 downloads in the first month, and then it's going to go to 200 downloads, and then it's going to go to 300, and 400, and 500, and 600. You'll have 100, and then maybe you'll have 150, and then maybe you'll have 125, and then maybe you'll have 135. It's okay if it doesn't grow to that degree every single month. I care way more about the trend than the specifics. As long as we're trending in the right direction, that's what matters most. And very early in the beginning, this is where the consistency comes in. You might be 10 episodes in and say, nothing's working. You know, I'm not getting clients. Nothing is happening. I don't have any new listeners. You're only 10 episodes in. Imagine going to the gym 10 times and expecting to have your dream physique. It, it just, it doesn't work that way, right? Or going on 10 dates and then getting married. Like that doesn't really work either, depending on the relationship. So I really want you to understand that, yes, people are very supportive in the beginning. Many people. I can tell you my grandmother, shout out to Mima, she listened to like, I don't know, maybe the first 100 episodes. But my grandmother is not the target audience. She shouldn't be listening. It's it's not necessarily catered for her. Now, she was listening from a place of support, which I'm, I'm very grateful for. But when we got up to three, five, six, seven episodes a week, she stopped listening. Why? Because it's not a show for her. So I think that's a very important understanding for you to have. Hey, Kevin, Kim here. Just wanted to send you a video to say thank you so much for your help on creating the Peaceful Productivity Podcast. You know, I couldn't have done it without you. I knew you'd be lots of great help with the technical aspects of getting the podcast going, but you went well above and beyond that. You helped me with the strategy and you gave me all kinds of really great support. You know, I think the key to success in business is a great attitude and you have that in spades. You really walk the walk. So thanks again. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. In the beginning, you're just allowing anybody to come in. It's like all the people on your friends list, all your friends, they're going to say, yeah, I'll check it out. Some people will not resonate with it. It's not for everybody, right? It's just not for everybody. And that's an important understanding that you must have. I also want you to think about this too. When you're first starting this podcast, you sit down, you get all your equipment, you get in front of the camera, you get in front of the microphone, and you do it. People are going to look at you a little bit differently because people know you as one version of you, right? People know you as, for me, it was bodybuilder Kev. People knew me as a bodybuilder who loved martial arts. Then it was, oh, this guy is into philosophy and he likes having deep topics. Um, he likes having deep conversations about deep topics and he loves interviewing people about their dreams and their goals and their aspirations. People have to look at you in a different way. And some people will not understand how to do that. This is where some people might lash out and they may be judgmental. They may not support you. They may poke fun at you. That will also happen in the beginning. Uh, we got a lot of, oh, you're a podcaster now? Like that, that kind of stuff where people don't understand. I had a client, I was talking to him the other day, and he said his boss came up to him one day and said, Oh, how's that little podcast you're doing going? Like, how's that working for you? And it's just his boss does not see him as the type of person who is a podcaster. That's okay. That's okay. It's understandable in the beginning. Maybe you've had that experience too, where somebody came up to you and said, oh, I'm going to do this. And in your mind, it was like, oh, you're not. I can't imagine you as the type of person who would do that. It's okay. In the very beginning, there will be people who are very supportive, but there also will be people who do not understand what you're doing. And I think if you can empathize with them and put yourself in their position, I think that helps a little bit. So just to recap this quick episode, number one, when you start your first month, your first two months, your first three months, they might be high months. 
you might actually get some traction in the beginning. It depends. It depends on what your your social media presence is. It depends on how many close friends you have. It depends on your family. It depends on the communities you're in. But you might get off to a, a good start and you might see it trickle down. That's definitely a possibility. You might also deal with some sort of judgment. You might deal with people who don't understand why you're doing what you're doing. And they're struggling to see you as the new identity that you've taken on to start this podcast. And then the third point and the thing that I really want you to, to sit with and think about is in the very beginning, it's almost like you're attracting so many different people, but you need to understand that most of those people probably won't stick around. Do your best to nurture the people who are your ideal listeners, but some people are going to go. I know that we got a lot of comments in the very beginning of, hey, you should do your show this way. Hey, you should do your show this way. You should have this type of guest on. And I remember thinking back and saying to Alan, and again, if you don't know Alan, Alan is uh, the co-host of our other show. And I remember saying, these aren't the people that we're speaking to. The feedback is valuable, yes, but I'm not making these episodes for them. I'm making these episodes for somebody else. It's not for them. It's not for everybody. You're not going to be for everybody either. So I think that's a very important understanding. And I just don't want you to start and get sad and say, oh, my numbers are going down. Honestly, in the grand scheme of things, that might actually be a good thing. Because that means you're weeding out the people who shouldn't be there. And you can build real authentic relationships with the people that are. So again, quick episode today. But this is kind of a mindset episode where in the beginning, I want to make sure that you have the right mindset so you can take the right approach. And if you don't get the results that you want immediately, you can at least kind of change your expectations to understand why. So next week, I am going to talk about the importance of getting on other podcasts. So I went on a bit of a podcast tour over the last uh, month, and I think I did 90 episodes in 28 days and that's including we do seven episodes a week and then I also do an episode here so there's eight there but I was on a bunch of other podcasts I've learned so much so in that episode I'll talk about the importance of getting on other shows as well as maybe some of the lessons I've learned from getting on other shows I know I did an episode recently about I think it was the, the biggest mistakes podcasters are making or something like that. But it's a very important thing. And I think many people wait way too long. And they say, well, I'll start getting on other shows when I get to a certain amount of downloads, certain amount of episodes, whatever it may be. Podcast growth people, as always, I am offering a totally free 30-minute call podcast breakthrough session with any of our amazing listeners. Again, this show is very new. Uh, we're not getting a ton of downloads, un understandably. That's how it starts. I'm not worried about that. But my goal will be to offer this free call for as long as I can. If you are even a little bit interested, just make sure you take advantage of it because I'm obviously not going to be able to do it forever. And again, I will not sell you on anything. That is not my goal. My goal is to add value. If you have learned anything from this show thus far, I realize that connecting with you behind the scenes not only in the short run, but the long run is more valuable than me asking you for money. Really. I mean, that's something I preach and that's something I will continue to preach. So my link will be in the show notes. All you got to do is grab a time on my calendar. I will show up just like this from the studio and my goal will be to help you with your podcast. So I appreciate you if you are interested in that. And again, no pressure. Uh, I just want to help. I just want to help podcasters level on up. Thank you again for tuning in, my podcast people. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Keep on podcasting. And always, if you have any questions, just reach out to me. My handle is at NeverQuitKid on Instagram. I will talk to you all next week.